All right, Todd here with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we are gonna talk about wiring, belts, and setup for 6.4 liter <clears throat> that we're putting into Jeep JK. This Jeep is like a 13, I think. And so it's gonna take our 12 to 18 wiring harness and it's gonna do our setup for that, uh, that wiring, that Jeep and so on. So this is a customer's engine we're putting in for him. And we're just gonna talk about arrangements and so on. So let's see, I'm gonna start on this side this time. So on the alternator, we cut the alternator back. So it clears the frame, which the frame is like right in this area. So if you can see right there, we kind of cut it back, shorten the bolts so that they'll fit. This is the oil filter adapter that we use, kicks it forward. All right, then we'll walk around here. And this sensor here, we do not use. It comes in the sense into the oil filter adapter that came from a Grand Cherokee where we don't use this sensor. I mean, you could swap it around, whatever, but I wouldn't, we don't do it. It sits there, it's just a plug. So we're gonna talk about wiring. So here is the alternator wire, which looks like injector plug. All right, it's plugged in right here. And then right here is the oil temp sensor, which looks like the coolant sensor wire and the sensors look the same. So here's the coolant temp sensor. And then we go around here, it's really hard to see, but like right up in here, it's an oil pressure switch, which looks like this. This is the oil pressure switch, which is up in there. So that's what the plug looks like, all right? It's up and inside there. This here is the air temp sensor, which would go in about this area here, which goes in the intake. Here is the cam sensor. Cam sensor's right here. And then we'll walk around over here. Throttle body plug, which comes from right here, over in this area. Coolant temp sensor, which goes right here. And then we'll keep going over here. Here, this Jeep, this Jeep engine, because it came out of Grand Cherokee. This is the pulley that came from it. There's the part number. This is the PSC pump that came from the Jeep. So this came out of this 13 JK at a 3.6 liter. We had to drill out this bolt and this bolt to bolt it to the cylinder head and it bolts straight up to the head and this pulley fits perfectly. So it all looks stock, runs the stock belt. This AC compressor, we had to modify. We cut this piece out, as you can see here, bolted it up right there. Here's the wiring for the AC compressor. This compressor has no plug in the back. So this is the right compressor and this compressor is from the Grand Cherokee. And so there's the part number, even though it's upside down, but it is there. And that's from the Grand Cherokee. Now we've also used the 3.8 3 liter compressors, but if you don't have a 3.8 liter or your compressors wore out, this would be the compressor you use, okay? So, and then we go under here, motor mounts. So this is the driver's side, the bigger spacers in the front, smaller spacers in the back. And then under here is the knock sensor, right up under there, as you can see. All right, there's a knock sensor on each side. And here is the wire to the starter that comes from our harness. The battery cable hooks to the top connector, not the bottom. The top connector so here is the battery cables from the Jeep JK that we reuse there's the ground there's the power now I'll show you here's the old 3.6 layer we had to cut out the battery cables. so the battery cables are made inside the harness to the Jeep and we had to cut them out to reuse them. So we always reuse the battery cables. And this is what you gotta do to reuse the battery cables, you gotta cut them out. So, and these are the battery cables. We just wrap them up and clean them up. Here is the uh, capacitor. Everybody's like, what's a capacitor and why and where? And so here it is, two pin connector, only one wire. It's not here right now, but if it were here, it would bolt right to that 
that stud right there, but we use it for our engine puller. Um, that's where uh, the capacitor would go, all right? And it's in my build material list. Here's the two heater hoses. There's the vacuum line to the brake booster. Here is the short runner valve, and this is the plug right here for the short runner valve, and that's where the short runner valve is. Here is the map sensor. And the map sensor, as you see, it's inside the wiring harness, comes right there. Here is the VVT and the um, uh, uh, MDS plug right here. So as you can see, all the connectors. It, this is the wiring harness from the engine. It goes under the intake manifold, as you can see. So they all should have that. This side of it over here is from our harness, all right? Obviously, this goes to the computer. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but this is the computer plug. Here's the ground for the wiring harness right here. It's with the computer plug. All right, so driver side front O2 sensor. Kind of show the wiring a little bit here. This is the uh, driver side rear O2 sensor. You can kind of see the wiring, how it's laid out, and where we connect it and how it goes. Here is the NAG1 or A580 plug that we don't use, we, so we tape it off and, and zip tie it to the back of the harness. Here is the plug to the transfer case. Now we're on the passenger side, and here's the wiring, the rear O2 sensor, here's the wiring for that. Kind of see how it was run. Here is the passenger side front O2 sensor. Here's the plug that goes to the Jeep and it's in this part of the harness, as you can see, it's added. That would have went here in this plug, all right? So it would be this, this, and the NAG1 are all in that setup. So. Here is the EVAP, because you gotta reuse the EVAP from the Jeep. So the EVAP gets reused. This is the, the line from the EVAP. Here is our fuel line. And this is a good time to start mocking all this up and getting it all put together. Along with, you know, the vent to the transfer case, it's all run in this too, all zip tied, looks clean. And it's just the time to do it is now, right? So there's those connections. So there's all of the connections for the um, injectors and coils. And it's the same on the other side. And then here's the uh, EVAP line that would go back to the solenoid, or not solenoid, the uh, switch, EVAP switch that we're gonna reuse from the Jeep also. All right. Here's the knock sensor for the passenger side. Kind of get an idea of what the plug looks like. So there's the plug, and here's the connector that would go here. All right. Here is a crank sensor. Crank sensors all need to be replaced if you're 13 and newer. So we always replace them anyway. So it's in my building material list. This needs to be replaced. It has to be replaced with a Chrysler part number that's in the list. Everybody else's sensors, nah, I don't, I don't trust them. So just a little piece of advice, I would buy that from Chrysler. All right, now onto the motor mount. This is the passenger side motor mount. Remember, this is a 12 to 18 Jeep JK. No spacers in the front. All the spacers are in the rear, okay? So you put all the spacer in the rear on the passenger side. All right, let's see, what else do we want to uh, kind of address here? I think that covers about all of it, honestly. So we'll do a little walk around so you can kind of get an eyeball of how everything was laid out. Um, and like I said, all this is accessory drive stuff is stock. So, you know, stock alternator, stock water pump, stock pulley, PSC pump, stock compressor from the Grand Cherokee. And that's how the belt goes. And then the oil filter adapter. And I think that's about it. There's not much more to really add, I believe. So we're just kind of doing a visual now, kind of seeing how it's all put together on the six fours, because I just don't do a lot of six fours. And this is an HP 70 out of a Dodge Ram truck. 
I think this one's out of a 19, I believe, and we had to tap the fittings to put the fittings in for the uh, cooler lines. That had to be done. And then we also took this transmission, flashed it, so all of them need to be flashed. Every transmission now, we don't do any that aren't flashed. Everybody gets a flash now. So, all right, well, if there's any more questions anybody has, put them in the uh, comments in our, uh, in our channel. Like and subscribe to us so that helps us keep doing these videos because we want to keep informing and helping everybody get these things done. If you have questions and so on, I got answers to everything. So, all right. Well, that's about it, I think. I think we covered about all of it. And if I missed anything, uh, give me a comment. All right. Jeep Speed Shop, out.